13 Action News Update, sponsored by Silver State Schools Credit Union. I'm Ina Pershunkla, and right now on your 13 Action News Update, Governor Steve Sisolak will be adjusting capacity limits for gatherings next week. The governor also says he will be lifting certain restrictions on youth sports as well. Sisolak has not said when he will be making the announcements, and we will let you know as soon as we know more. Well, hundreds of thousands of people continue to file for unemployment in Nevada. According to Dieter, more than 8,000 people filed first-time claims last week. That is down slightly from the week before. The number of self-employed contract workers or gig workers who filed for PUA was up about 11 percent from the week before. And the number of people who have filed for unemployment for at least two weeks fell for the fifth consecutive week. Caesars Entertainment has announced that Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino will reopen in a couple of weeks. The company says the resort will officially reopen Thursday, October 8th at 10 a.m. The hotel will accommodate weekend stays, Thursdays through Sundays, while the gaming floor will be open every day. Planet Hollywood says it looks forward to welcoming back guests while following safety protocols. Hot and dry conditions sticking around through your weekend, plus that hazy sunshine that we've been dealing with over the last few weeks. But we do see some changes on the horizon. Breezy conditions pushing in on Sunday, bringing those gusts to right around 20 miles per hour. Downright windy on Monday, but you can see that brings a six degree cool down. Those temps getting closer to what's considered uh, normal for this time of year. Low 90s only sticking around for a few days. That high pressure ridge building back into our region, bringing us back towards the triple digits as we we get towards the later portion of the week and as we welcome October. Meanwhile, those overnights will be cooling off into the upper 60s. All right, thanks, Kelsey. And that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktnv.com, and our free mobile app.